Hey guys, it's Wanda from Crazy Days. We're in the kitchen and we got some, some stuff going on. So Danny's going to twist off the top. Oh of yeah, you're supposed pineapple. to twist it off. Isn't that awesome? Look, I got a smell while he's doing this. I wish y'all had smell-o-vision. This thing is awesome, isn't it, baby? It is awesome. And let me show I'm the people while we got them on here. A lot of people want to know about this. Uh, First off, you have that little it's that little point sticking out there. Let's just do this right here. Let me show people something. This, if you're going to save the uh, the top of this, you have to do this. I mean, so many people ask this question, not only on your channel but on Deep South and others. You know, I mean, they keep asking. How do about, you do it? How do you do this? You know, and we do this all the time. We regrow our own after we we save our own. We're <laughs> Basically coming to a point where we're creating our own uh, variety of pineapple, I guess you might say. And each one of them is different. Yeah, and I do believe that uh, maybe they're uh, just like maybe different varieties that we've uh, that we've got started here. It's hard to say. Okay. Now this is what you want the bottom to look like right here at this point. Now, I'm going to get my pocket knife out. I'm going to show you something else. If you'll look right here. You see all that right there? I'm going to get it around here where you can actually see that. Right there. That's the new roots already trying to form on this thing. So what you want to do, you want to take a knife and you want to cut this thing right below. Maybe a little bit more further up there. Paper thin cut there. See all these little roots here? These are roots all the way around this thing. All them little dark spots, that's all roots you see there. That's, don't cut into those. Don't though. cut into those. You want to cut right up to them. And you want to pull these back. I like to go about an inch. Now, I don't quite have an inch here. Uh, it's not going to hurt. This one's tall anyway. Yeah, this is a big, tall one anyhow. But um, we've got it up pretty close now. Our roots will start coming out all along this here. Now, one reason I like to do this is because these are flared out up here, and we'll take a pint jar and put water in it, and you want to sit this thing down, and you want water to come up to right here. Now, you don't want water coming all up in here because if you do, it'll sour all these leaves. You want just water to come up to right there. Now, you want you don't want chlorinated water, okay? Let's just get that. <laughs> you want a good well water uh, or, a, or a distilled water or something to that nature. Put that in there. Well water's best because it's got minerals in it. But a lot of people don't have well water. I know a lot of people don't have it, but you, you have to do what you got to do. Uh, set it down in there to where you only got water up to about that point right there. And every day, if, it, if the water gets down here, fill it back up to the water's right there. Don't overfill it up into here. You'll, yeah, you'll destroy it. Yeah, because it can get all in these. Those will, those will begin to hold water, and they'll begin to sour, and your, your whole plant top will die on you. Hey, we run a little water in there. Let me hold it up. Let me stick this down. Not quite. Not quite. Okay. That's good. And what we'll do is, usually we set it right here because right now we usually set it right here in our kitchen window because if we do, what that does is our eyes see it all the time. Now, if this water happens to turn green or some other color do not worry about that don't pour it out that stuff that that plant needs to live on it's an algae forms that forms in there and that plant needs it. i learned that from my grandfather but this is well water and guys you see how i have it there now and in a several days little roots will begin to form on that right there and grow down in here and you want it to be you want a lot of roots on it now you don't want just a three or four little roots you want to let it root out real good before you actually move it to the soil. All right. Guys, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Look at that. Now, we grow I'm... two or three of these every year. Yeah, now least. the thing about, let me, let me talk about this too. You can use these peelings off of this. And I'm going to. Uh, but now let me say this. If you buy a store-bought one and it's not organic, don't use it. Mm-hmm. Because pineapples and strawberries and papayas are the most sprayed fruits or vegetables or whatever you want to call it on the face of the earth. Bananas is another one. Unless they're organic, they have more 
toxic chemicals sprayed on them. So do not use the peelings on them. Only use them if you've raised them or if you know they're truly organic and have no chemicals. Now, because we use the peelings on ours, we don't spray them on anything, I'm going to cut them in little thin slices. So yeah, I can use this and I did last year. I've got videos on all this while Danny's cutting. I've showed you how to use the pineapple peelings like this and make juice. If you're going to can, you can go ahead and use the juice in your canning of your pineapples. I can use this juice to uh, make a pineapple jam um, or jelly or whatever. We may use it for something. We're going to figure out the juice. And, and that's the beauty of raising your own stuff. You know what's on it. You don't have to wonder about what's on it. Now, let me ask you this. Do you want this one in round rings and let's cut the center out? Or how do you want this one? Or you want it in cubes? It doesn't matter. If you want to cut it, in a, you do it. We can grill it if it's in round rings. And guys, there is nothing on the face of the earth that compares to grilled pineapple. Especially if you raise it yourself. You raise it yourself. We've got a video on that. Hopefully in the pineapple playlist that I can put up here. Y'all go watch our pineapple. I think I'm going to try to cut some. It's going to be a little difficult because I don't have the tool to cut the core out with. But we are going to try to cut ourselves a few. You're not going to peel it first? Uh, I got to have the peeling. Okay, let's. Well, I guess we will. It's just, I, I don't want to waste none of it. Well, we ain't because I'm fixing to use the peelings. We don't have animals that will, well, I don't know. Yeah, pigs will pigs eat Pigs will it. eat it, I guess. But I'm not giving it to the pigs till I and get see, all the goodies. this is where your seeds are at. The pineapples have seeds, but they're down in these holes down in here. And we're not trying from seeds. I'm not trying to plant nothing from a seed. It took a long enough time to get it from... I waited two years on these. The beauty now is we have so many that... Uh, uh, I know it, yeah. Who about, needs a scented candle? You about ready to bathe in that stuff, I can tell. Uh, Y'all, who needs a scented candle when you raise your own food? So Danny's going to slice this off right quick, and we're gonna put these in a boiler with some water and make some juice probably just to drink I'm probably just gonna make some pineapple juice to drink because Danny and I both love, love just pineapple juice and since it's ours it's perfect for making juice and we're not gonna probably add any sweetener to this we're oh, just no, going Lord, to no. add pineapples and water and if you wanted a little sweet, I would say add a touch of honey. Yeah, don't to, add no sugar. Add, add yeah. anything. Let it be just a touch of honey. But you I don't, don't think... I don't think you're going to need it with this one. Oh, Lord, no. This is pure pineapple juice at its finest. Let's, let's look at this thing here. How about this? I still got a little bit I got to trim off the bottom here. Let me see if I can't get rid of this right here. Boy, I hate wasting anything. We ain't wasting it. I'm making juice. Ooh. Just just give yourself a break. Give myself a break. Now, I'm going to try to do this. Good for grilling. Because we're going to be grilling probably tonight. Now, look, how got that. look at that. Ooh, look at that. Now, we got a, a cutter here. We're going to see if it'll work. I don't know. This may not work. Oh, it's going to work. Because I need the center for my juice. It's actually a cookie cutter. They probably make a pineapple cutter. We oh, just, they do. They make a We pour. just don't own one. We don't own one. Look at that. Okay. That's going to go into the juice pile. Ah. I'm sorry. I know what's going on now. Mmm, y'all. I got to have a bite. You gotta, I got to test it. I know I'm it's eating. next to I know Oh, it's, it's got plenty of, uh, it's got plenty of flesh. Mm. We ain't losing the flesh. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. He ate most of mine. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. <laughs> mm. Okay. Okay, that's what's left. Just the core. He's going to try not to do anything. He wants most up for the grill. 
when he says he. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that awesome? This is real, folks. This is this is real time here. Look at that. You talking about some grilled goodness? Ah. All right. That is one hunk of a slice right there. I'm telling you. How how thick you, is that? How, oh, side to side, how long? Oh uh, well, I'm cutting them about a half an inch thick. Y'all, y'all saw it here first. We got to know how big this pineapple is. From center, five inches. Five inches across wow. there. Wow. You were thinking four. I was thinking four, four and a half, but it's actually five. In the center, five inches. And you know inches. what I've noticed? The core is really not as big. As most of them. In the store, they're like huge. I think that's because they, they pick them probably quote, green. That's, that's possible because you get them green in the store and have to let them ripen. And two, this, this core... You Actually, can see how small the very center is really, really hard, like a, almost like a, um, a branch or something. But the rest of it's just as soft. It all went to pineapple, not core, is what I'm getting at. Yeah, I mean, I'll go back and take these pieces where the seeds is at in them. And just chop off a little I'll bit just, of the seed. I'll just, you know, I can go along here. And, but you got to be careful now because this stuff is so ripe. It'll actually break on you. Okay, so while we're in the kitchen, this is what I'm doing. Yesterday, it was all pear, everything. We did a whole bunch, I think 18 quarts and one pint of pears, a pint of pear sauce, and then a whole bunch of quarter pints of pear sauce. And this is chunky pear sauce for trips for Danny. This is pear relish. I did it in quarter cups so I can add it to my ham that I already have canned and make a ham salad and I have it in little quarter cups. Here we have some um, pear vinegar going. Never thought I'd be doing this, but we thought, you know, we've got all these pear peelings, let's make some vinegar. So we started that yesterday. And we have the juicer steamer going. That's a big surprise for Deep South next week. Next Thursday, I think I'm gonna have a video up on what is in the juicer steamer and what we do with it. That's cooked. Oh my goodness. That's kind of like a watermelon, you know. I mean, you get down to the very bottom. It may not be as sweet right around the bottom edges. But we're going to grill some of this. We may eat some of this uh, as a snack, a piece or two along. But look, if we grill one a piece, that's about three or four, at least four grillings or more. So that's pretty yeah, awesome. That's pretty awesome. And if you've never had grilled pineapple, don't over grill it. Oh no. But throw it on there, what, five minutes on each side or less? That depends on the heat of your grill, but uh, okay. And you do nothing to it if you're gonna grill, right? Just throw no, it on just the throw grill. Throw it on there. Let's go make some awesome juice. <sighs> He's fixing it so we can have a bite. Trying not to cut too much off. All That's all that, right. It's going in juice. It all goes to juice. All right. All right. Here we are. This is it. We're going to be making juice. Mm. How's the end piece? It just goes in the middle. You know what? What? Well, you done done it. They said you better grab it because I'm probably going to eat it. Oh, it's so sweet. You don't need sugar. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. That's amazing. Mm. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. I'll tell you what. Proud of our pineapples, aren't you? I'll be planting more of them things. We got a greenhouse full. I know, but I, I want more. Y'all, go watch my videos. Watch the playlist on pineapple. Deep South has been growing pineapples. What about? Probably started eight years ago. Mm -hmm. And we've harvested the last four years. So, hey, it's well worth it, guys. I'm going to be generous. I cut the last one in half. I love you. You better grab it. Well, I did love you. Okay. I got my piece. It's over, guys. Now, time to bask in the joys 
of good old Southern living. Thank you guys for stopping by the Deep South Kitchen here at Crazy Days. I'm fixing to enjoy another bite of this delicious pineapple and work with my secret stuff over there for next Thursday. Yeah. Bye, guys.